Now, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video, and please welcome back once again to my channel. Just in case you're here for the first time, please support me by subscribing, and also you can press the notification bell so that YouTube can automatically update you by sending you the notifications immediately I post a video here. Otherwise, I really want to appreciate my returning subscribers so much because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I really don't take your support for granted. So currently, there are some bitter wrangles within the Azimio Domoja Alliance leadership. Immediately, Ray Lodinga announced the return of the mass actions across the country after the Ramadan period. Remember that not all the leaders of Azimio Domoja Alliance are supporting Ray Lodinga's uh, mass action across the country. And that simply explains as to why immediately Ray Lodinga started the public barazas then he went to the demonstrations, anti-Ruto demonstrations. Then he went to the mass actions. That uh, period of time during those occasions, majority of Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders decided not to participate. And also some of them decided to defect to the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance so that they can get that support from the president, from the national government, so that they can engineer development projects from the counties, from the regions where they were voted in. So Kalonzo Musioka has finally uh, made it very clear that he will not be participating during the mass actions that will be conducted by Raila Amolodinga. And if he will be uh, forced to do that, then Kalonzo Musioka has threatened to quit the Azimio Longmoja Alliance officially. But remember that Kalonzo being Kalonzo and Musioka being Musioka, they cannot agree on the same thing. Maybe what Kalonzo Musioka is saying here does not mean actually what the actions that he will be conducting during that time when it comes. But the reasons as to why Kanonzo Musioka that is against the Azimio Lomoja Alliance mass actions is because, first of all, Raila Odinga's agenda or Raila Odinga's main actions or main reasons as to why he is calling for mass actions. The truth of the matter here is that whatever Raila Odinga is fighting for, it is not because of the interest of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. It is not for the interest of the Republic of Kenya. And it is not for the interest of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters. Whatever Rilo Dinga is fighting for here, it is because of his personal political objectives, personal interest. And that is why he is conducting this mass action so that he can be called for the new for the negotiations because in my considered opinion i compare whatever Raila Odinga is currently doing with what he did in the 2018 after the elections uh, which which led to the famous handshake that is majorly talked about up to date i don't want to dwell on that so much so basically here what will happen is that Raila Odinga will be called into the negotiation table what William Ruto did recently, he called Raila Odinga, his brother, to stop the mass actions across the country so that he can call for the bipartisan approach talks. Negotiation. That is what Raila Odinga always wants, the negotiation, so that uh, he can go to the table and negotiate on his personal interest. The same, same thing what happened during the 2018 after elections. During that handshake, it was a secret between the two people, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Amolodinga. The NASA principals, Kalonzo Musioka, Mudaiwadi, and Wetangula, during that period of time, they were not even aware about this. That was a complete secret. Even William Ruto, even though he was updated by Uhuru Kenyatta, because he was his deputy by that time, that he was going to have a negotiation or the handshake with Raila Odinga, but William Ruto was not even aware of what they discussed during that meeting. So basically here, it is the same, same thing that will happen. So right, Kanozo Musioka will not want the same, same situation to happen to him because remember that say that says, once beaten, twice shy. So Kanozo Musioka here is too much against the mass action because of that reason. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, it is because of the bipartisan approach talks that were, was proposed by uh, William Samuel Ruto. What Kanonzo Musioka is saying here basically is that let us give the bipartisan talks a chance because already they have appointed 
the representatives of both parties, the Azimio and the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. What we are currently waiting for, it is the exact date that these talks will happen. But Raila Odinga has insisted here that the bipartisan approach talks will continue as the mass action continues here. Raila Odinga is saying that he does not trust the Azimio Lomoja Alliance, oh no, the, the, the Kenya Kwanza Alliance, sorry, led by William Samuel Ruto, and he does not trust the uh, representatives that were appointed by uh, William Ruto to conduct the bipartisan approach talks. Because according to majority of Azimio Lomoja Alliance leadership, they are complaining about William Ruto's appointment or appointees, whereby he appointed some of Azimio Lomoja Alliance defectors, people like Kinan and the Kibwezi MP, who belongs to Azimio Lomoja Alliance legally because they signed some agreements before elections, but they defected because the same same parties that they belong to belongs to Azimio Lomoja Alliance legally. The Jubilee Party, which belongs to Kenan, the Maendeleo Chap Chap Party uh, also belongs to uh, the Azimio Lomoja Alliance legally, but uh, they decided to defect to the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. So basically, here is that Kanozo Musioka is saying, let us give a chance the bipartisan approach talk so that if it fails, then we will resume to the mass actions across the country. And that, ladies and gentlemen, it is because of the negative impacts of the demonstrations. Remember that the demonstrations mainly does not occur or does not bear some positive impacts, but it is always negative because there's destructions of property, uh, looting of properties, other people's properties, and also touching some properties whereby you saw majority of uh, shops and um, the, the supermarkets and people's businesses were set on fire, especially in Kisumu County. Also, the UDA offices in Kisumu County and uh, in in in, uh, in Kisumu was and and CIA, ladies and gentlemen, was um, uh, set on fire in Kisumu County. So, basically, here is that, and also the, remember the killings that happened occurred during that. Uh, occurring during that event, it is not basically good for the country. So what Kalunzo Mutsioka is saying here is that let us call off the mass action simply because of the negative impacts that it is causing to the country and to the people of the Republic of Kenya during this uh, challenging period of the high cost of living and different situations that our Kenyans, majority of Kenyans are currently facing. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, it is because of the Kenya's economy. The truth of the matter here is that we are currently facing the high cost of living, even though William Ruto has officially announced the prices of unga to reduce as from next week, but not the prices of unga alone. There, is, there are some basic commodities which are too much expensive, which majority of Kenyans could not even afford. If you are a parent, for example, you have to pay school fees, which is too much expensive with the CBC uh, current uh, education system, you have uh, to buy majority of um, you know different set of books that you must buy the uniform at the rest, which are too much expensive when it comes to the household uh, commodities, which are too much expensive. The prices of food basically are too much expensive, even though you can afford it, but you will strain too much. Majority of Kenyans currently could not even afford a single meal on the table because of the high cost of living. Majority of them was are still affected by the corona situation whereby majority of them were fired in their workplaces. Maybe they have not returned. You know, those, that is the current situation that we are facing as a country. Um, even you saw majority of the MPs were complaining because the delay of salaries, some of them were not even paid completely simply because of the current situation. Even the counties have not yet received their financial, you know, their finance because from the national government because of the current situation. So basically here, we are at a challenging moment and Kanozo Musioka is saying that during this period of time, let us officially call off the mass actions so that we can resume if we, at all that is the main 
uh, way through to get through to our uh, grievances. You know, that was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was according to Kanazum Sioka. That was my personal opinion. I don't know what you think. That was my analysis for today. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.